G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Thank you very much for joining me. Now let's check out today's car. It is an absolute beauty, but aren't they always? It is a 1968 Datsun 1300 pickup U520. Now I did a little bit of research and quickly came upon the Auto Shiro website. Now I found Auto Shiro because uh, there's a sticker on the rear glass, there it is, and on their blog, which is absolutely fantastic, you can spend quite a bit of time there, lots of photos of them restoring classic old Datsuns and they do a darn good job by the look of it. Now they're located in Ehime Prefecture. Absolutely, one of my favorite places in Japan. Ehime is famous for castles. There are three or four very, very beautiful castles in that corner of the world, namely Matsuyama Castle, which is fantastic to visit in autumn, and also Uejima Castle. Both of these are important cultural properties, and another absolutely fantastic picturesque castle is Ozu, which is between those two. Um, sorry for that uh, tourist information there, but it really is a fantastic place. If you get to Japan and you want to miss the crowds, go to Ehime. Now, the car does not have Ehime license plates. It has Yamaguchi license plates. So someone bought it and they live in the western tip of the main island of Japan, which is Honshu. And they made the trip to Mojiko, which is not far. There is just a small bridge that connects those two places. So I'm glad it made its way over the bridge. And uh, yeah, sitting in the car park here, looking absolutely fantastic. It even stands out more than the Ford pickup truck next to it. And uh, that truck is owned by some friends of mine and uh, I always uh, see them and their car at car shows all around the place. Which is, you know, it's a very nice car also. But uh, if I had the choice of these two pickups, I'm afraid I would go with the Datsun. I love the double cab body style. Toyota do a few nice ones, Datsun do a few nice ones, but uh, yeah, the old uh, U520 is a winner. Check out the visibility in the interior, pretty much a vertical glass all round, so clean and clear windows, yeah. Now the interior apparently has all original uh, material for the seats, and I found that out on their blog, the Autoshiro blog. Um, I think that has to be a aftermarket steering wheel, but otherwise quite an original interior, very clean. Those wheels, eight spokers, six lugs, and uh, good rubber as well, and sitting a bit low. Yeah, nice. Now I see the front bumper is missing. I don't think that's a parts issue. I think that's just a stylistic choice, which doesn't look half bad, I've got to say. Yeah, very nice. So there you go guys, what do you think? Uh, that's question of the day actually, what do you think of this car? Uh, do you like it? Would you change the colour? What would you change? What would you keep? Let me know in the comments below. Now I had a recent question about stickers, how do you get them? Uh, just email me, qshudan, k-y-u-s-h-u-d-a-n at yahoo.com.au or check out the website. Go to the shop on the wasabicars.com website and you will stumble upon it. Just let me know, sticky front or sticky back. Just let me know that. And I'm out of here, guys. Thank you so much, and take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on the side of the and a little bit of